Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's go ahead and try to do an example of a delta y circuit. We are given the impedance of the load and we're given the voltage from A to B and we're, try we're asked to find the line currents IA, IB and IC. How do we do that? Well, remember in the previous video we found that the line current I sub A can be found from the equivalent circuit to be equal to VAN divided by the impedance. And so if we find a relationship between VAN and VAB, we can then plug that in here and find the line current. Remember the relationship was that VAN, the phase voltage, the phase voltage of the equivalent circuit, was equal to 1 over the square root of 3 times the voltage from A to B with a phase angle difference of minus 30 degrees. Remember the diagram that we had, we, if this was VAN, then this was going to be VAB and with a phase angle difference of minus 30 degrees and a magnitude difference of the square root of 3. So therefore, we divide VAB by the square root of 3 to get the magnitude for VAN and then we have a phase angle difference of minus 30 degrees. Hmm. So what we're going to do then is we're going to take our voltage VAB and convert that using that equation. So we have VAN is equal to 1 over the square root of 3 times VAB which is 120 with a phase angle of 0 degrees and now we're supposed to subtract 30 degrees from that. And so let's see what we end up with. So 120 divided by the square root of 3, so we get 69.28. So we have VAN, the equivalent phase voltage of 69.28 with a phase angle of minus 30 degrees. And since we already have our impedance converted to magnitude and phase angle, we can then say that I sub A is equal to VAN, which is 69.28, with a phase angle of minus 30 degrees, divided by the impedance of 23.32, with a phase angle of 30.96 degrees. And notice IA is therefore equal to, with a calculator, 23.32, that would be 2.97, the phase angle, when bring that up, of minus 60.96 degrees, and that of course would be in terms of amps. If we now want to find I sub B and I sub C, we subtract 120 degrees twice, I sub B would be 2.97 with a phase angle of minus 180.96 degrees, that's in terms of amps, and finally I sub C would be equal to 2.97 with a phase angle of minus 300.96 degrees and we can rewrite I sub C with a positive angle 2.97 add 360 to that that would be 300.96 plus 360 is a positive 59.04 and that's in terms of amps and so there are the three line currents IA, IB, and IC for a delta Y circuit, and that's how it's done.